Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's Grocery Stores, and I've got the most amazing beer-battered fish fry recipe that I know you're gonna absolutely love. Whether you're celebrating the Lenten season or just love a good fish fry, this recipe is simple, it's delicious, and it's a great opportunity to share it with family and friends. The first thing we need to do, of course, is break down our fish. I'm gonna be using some fresh halibut. Heinen's hands down has the most amazing seafood spread I've ever seen. They have an amazing policy of in the water and into the store within a 24 hour period to ensure freshness and quality. This beautiful piece of halibut is two pounds. It's steaky, yet it is flaky, and it's got a nice sweet finish to it. What we're gonna do is simply cut it in half the next thing we want to do is remove the skin. You can absolutely ask the fish folks at Heinen's to do this for you. Go ahead and just slide your knife underneath, wiggle back and forth with the skin until it is off. Go ahead and discard it. And what we want to do now is cut these into small three to four ounce fillets. Once they are all cut up, I just like to set them to the side on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper and put them in the refrigerator to keep them cool. While the fish is cooling, this is a great opportunity to make our batter. In a large bowl, we're gonna sift together a few things. I like to add some flour to this. And then I like to use rice flour. You can absolutely sub this out with cornstarch. Gonna give it that nice sort of fluffy look and taste to it. Next, we're gonna add in an egg, some beer, and I'm gonna be using Two Brothers French Country Ale, which is amazing, but you can absolutely use a Pilsner or something else. Got some garlic powder some onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper. The next thing we wanna do is whisk this together. It should be a little bit thin. It should not be thick like a dough batter or anything like that. It needs to be a little bit thin. If you need to add in some water to thin it out, absolutely do it. Go ahead and also let that chill in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going back over to that cutting board because we need to make a simple seasoned flour that we're gonna coat first before the batter. So add some flour to a bowl. We're next gonna season it well with some sea salt, some fresh cracked black pepper. Let's go ahead and give that a nice whisk. Now what we're doing is we're heading over to the cooktop because we need to heat up our oil. I'm gonna be using canola oil, but feel free to use an oil that you're comfortable cooking with. Pour this right into a pot. We need to get it to about 350 to 375 degrees. If you don't have a candy thermometer, I'll show you what to do in just a few seconds. At this point, let's bring the fish back out. We wanna season it with salt and pepper just on one side, it'll be plenty of seasoning. Now let's take that and the flour, head back over to our cooktop where our oil is heating up, bring out our beer batter. And now what we wanna do just to test the oil, like I said, to make sure it's at the right temperature, just add a little bit of batter. If you see it drop to the bottom and then come to the top and start to sizzle, we are in great shape. You hold that temperature right there. Now to make the fish fry. Go ahead and lightly coat it in the flour. Give it a few taps to make sure all the flour is off. You're just simply wanting to coat it here and then put it right into the beer batter. Dredge it, get it covered on all sides. This is gonna be all that amazing flavor into this fish fry. And then next, put it right into the oil very gently. I say in a pan like this, maybe two or three pieces of fish. You do not want to overcrowd the oil so that the fish starts sticking together. That would be really bad. It takes about four to five minutes for the fish to completely finish cooking. Go ahead and feel free to move it around with a slotted spoon. When it is done, take the fish right out of the oil, set it to the side on a rack, let some of that oil drain off before it's time to serve it up. There are a couple options when serving up a fish fry. You can plate it up next to some fresh homemade french fries. I like to do chips. I like to keep it really, really simple. You can also serve this next to some malt vinegar, which I highly recommend. And of course, if you have a tartar sauce that you love, go ahead and serve it up with that. Boom, we're finished. Let's for sure try it out. The fish smells incredible. I don't know if it's the wonderful halibut or the batter, but it's absolutely amazing in here cannot wait to try some of this. If you want to maybe try another fish, you could look at cod, you could look at sea bass. Heinen's has a wonderful selection of seafood for you to try. But this halibut fish fry is amazing. Cannot wait to try some of it. We'll see y'all later.